And over the years, you've placed guards at the D1 level. What did those guards possess that guys that didn't go D1 didn't have? Yeah, I mean, we, we've got several guys playing at the college level right now, um, you know, and, and at different schools and levels, a little bit based on maybe their preferences, but, um, you know, and it could be some of their physical attributes that, you know, made them a better fit for, say, Division One, Two, or Three. But, um, you know, Chase Audis is starting at, at Northwestern right now. He's a 6'4 guard and, you know, one of the most athletic players we've ever had in our program. And so I think when you have that level of athleticism, it allows you to defend uh, at the Big Ten level. Um, you know, we've watched him, you know, play over the last couple of years and guard some of the country's best players successfully. He's an outstanding defender, uh, above the rim guy. So, I mean, certainly that athleticism, um, is going to open some doors to play at the next level. Um, you know, I think at the same time, your ability to shoot the ball, we've got a, a 6'6 guard at Vanderbilt, uh, Gabe Dorsey, who, you know, was with us for four years and really developed the other parts of his game over four years really well. But his ability to shoot the basketball certainly separated him and, uh, you know, led some of the country's best programs to recruit him. And, uh, you know, thirdly, I think sometimes it can be just IQ, especially if you're a point guard. Um, you know, Zach Lazanik's playing at, at Army, a really nice, you know, program, and obviously one of the, the most incredibly special, you know, institutions for leadership in our country. Um, but what made West Point recruit him was his intelligence, his basketball IQ savvy. Um, he didn't necessarily have chases above the rim athleticism. He's not 6'4". He, he wasn't, you know, uh, shoot shoot from NBA range, six six guard, uh, but his toughness, his savvy, his ability to make others better, um, you know, led led a Division one program to offer him a position in their program. And Seth, of all three schools you just mentioned, all three are high academic, right? So that helps as yeah. well to having good grades. But you mentioned an athletic player, a shooter, and then one with high IQ and toughness. So it's not cookie cutter. You, you can have a combination of that stuff, but if you have grades, you're obviously going to have more options than someone that doesn't as well. So that's, that's good you shared that. 